Okay. Here is uh, one video of many I'm going to be uploading. This video is going to walk through our final paper, paper four, the good old research paper. So let's get going on that. If you want to log into our Blackboard page, uh, I, I have the research paper in a couple different spots. If you go to weekly sessions, the rest of the rest of our semester is planned out. It's under week 11. Uh, we have a lot of attachments here to look through and I'll be posting videos on each one of these things. So here is the final paper right here. It's also under assignments, uh, paper for research paper. So I'm gonna click on that and open that and just walk through it. All right, here we go, the research paper. Uh, these are corresponding page numbers that walk you through the whole process of researching. I'll be posting videos on these like I usually do for pages from our book that's uploaded. The due date is Tuesday, April 27th on Blackboard, a Microsoft Word doc or PDF only, please. So we have plenty of time to work on this paper. MLA format, the same as all of these, right? Uh, I know in a couple papers on the last one I, I, I wrote, please follow MLA format. There are the videos, the handouts, all that stuff that walks through that. The grade, this paper is worth the big money. We have 250 points and we're based on five areas. Clarity of thesis statement, introductory paragraph that sets up your topic, that's 50. Organization of paper, body paragraphs that follow meal guidelines, that's 50 points. And you're going to need to incorporate outside research in this paper. And I'll be uploading videos on that as well to walk through in-text citations and works cited pages and all that stuff. Uh, that's 50, including your in-text citations, MLA citation and paper setup, formatting of works cited page, you know, correct format, that's 50. At least three to four full pages, 25 points. I know on some of the other papers, some folks have been struggling to get to the page length. Please, please, please try and get to the page length, three pages. Also, as an as a added on to this paper, I'm going to have everyone write your introduction, thesis statement, and outline. This will be due Tuesday, April 13th on Blackboard. So instead of just waiting till the whole paper and doing everything at once, I'm going to have us do this first step. You're going to construct your introduction, thesis statement, and outline, and you'll upload this on Tuesday, April 13th. This will be a component of the research paper. I'll be going over the handout on that next. This is so you you got to jump on the paper. This paper is a little different. You know, we're not necessarily writing about personal experiences, our our own personal uh, thoughts, feelings, memories, emotions, all that. You know, we're we're re we're researching a topic. We're we're stepping outside of ourselves a little bit. So this is so you're not waiting till the last moment to throw it together. So we get a jump on it. All right, here are the nuts and bolts of the paper. For this assignment, you will write a three to four page research paper that focuses on an area of interest and incorporates reputable outside sources. This research paper can be either argumentative based or informative. So if you want to argue a point, that's fine. Although I have a couple caveats, I have some topics that are off limits. Or if you just want to do an informative paper, that's fine as well. You must also incorporate two to three outside sources into your paper using MLA style and format. Uh, structure the same as all of them, right? Your paper will be set up like this. Start with an introductory paragraph that grabs the reader's attention and mentions your topic and some of the aspects you will be talking about. The introduction format follows all of our other introduction formats. You're jumping right into the paper you're touching upon what you're going to be looking at and at the end of your intro you'll have a thesis statement that articulates the main idea of your paper follow with a number of body paragraphs that describes the important aspects you know one aspect per paragraph each body paragraph should include an in-text citation your conclusion should reiterate your points and answer the so what question you know look at all these handouts and uh, videos that we've been going over this semester so this is a little bit different from in class. If we were in class or even synchronous, I usually walk, walk through the room and talk to everybody individually and we brainstorm and I write on the board and we come up with some ideas together. 
because there's a, there's a couple different ways you could do this good old-fashioned research paper. I can give you a specific topic, right? I could tell you what to write about. However, if you're not interested in that topic, man, it's going to be like pulling teeth to write a paper, right? You know, nothing's, trust me, while you're in college, you're going to have to write a lot of papers on areas you're not interested in. So if I were just to give you a topic, everybody the same topic, and if you're, and if you're not interested in a topic, man, that would, that would uh, not be a good paper to read, and you probably wouldn't be excited to write it. On the, on the flip side, if I'm like, write about anything, it's, it's, it's too overwhelming, right? It's like there's so much to choose from. There's, it's, it's too overwhelming. There's too many choices. So what I did is I started to just brainstorm on my own, and I want you to replicate this act of brainstorming. So as I say here, on the next page, I started to come up with, some vi with various ideas and topics. These were just a few things off the top of my head. Uh, you don't have to choose these things. If something on here catches your eye, you can. You can take it and run with it. But this is just some of the type of brainstorming I'm uh, starting to do. So if you see here, first off, think of an area of interest. What are you interested in? Once you have that area, start to narrow down and choose a topic within the area. For example, a broad area can be education, right? Now, within that area, you know, you're not talking about the history of education, right? It's just, it's, we don't have space for that. Within that area, choose a specific sub-area to research. The rising cost of tuition can be one. Uh, education during the pandemic, right? I know some folks wrote about online versus in-person learning. That You can expand that paper. Uh, the paper would focus on how tuition has grown over the years and what might be some options to combat this. Another area within education could be looking at how people learn in an online setting as opposed to in-person, what I just said, right? Uh, navigating all this stuff. So you see here under this heading, education, I have tuition, online versus in-person. You can also research an area of study, a major, right? If you have something you're going into, what's your area of study, a major? Or what kind of, uh, what, what path does that follow? Balancing college stress, time management, right? That's a nice research paper that could be helpful. College during COVID. So these are just a few ideas that, you know, you see education is the broad theme. And you would choose one of these, obviously not all of these. And within these things, you would look at some areas, right? And I have, uh, I just clicked on it. I have links to each one of these, uh, not all of them, but some of them there that hyperlinked where I, I upload some research uh, that could help you. So once you have that link, you start to look at some of this research. So back, back to the page, you see that, that online versus in person. So whatever there's a hyperlink, you can click on that. That could be an, that could be an outside source. So education, environment, clean energy, et cetera. If you, if you, you know, if you're into the environment, what are some new things being done now? What's being done to help the environment? Here's an article about cutting down the use of plastic, you know, skip the straw, right? So you would research some areas within the environment. Uh, is there something with Rhode Island in the environment that they're doing? You know, that might even make it a little more interesting if you're, if you're into the environment. Think of an area in a medical field. You know, if you're going into nursing or the medical field, are there current changes in medical field, uh, certain diseases, mental and emotional health? That could be an area of interest. And here's a link that looks, you know, again, I'm, I'm stuck on the COVID thing, but you could look at Depression and despair deepens during COVID. How do people during COVID deal with depression, deal with some of these emotional struggles? Uh, and you see this is a great article here, and you, this article works. You can think of that, right? How has some of these things exacerbated depression and how people deal with stuff? Society and technology. How does social media affect individuals? Why is everybody addicted to their phones, right? And here are more links. I'm not going to click on each link, but they're up here to look at. Does the internet make us feel more alone or more connected? 
How has our relationships to social media changed during COVID? Have they been helpful for seeing family and loved ones? So you can look at how it can be helpful. So society and technology, you can look at these things. Jobs, right? You can look at jobs, how a lot of jobs are, are we got to use the computer for them, right? Arts, entertainment, this would probably be where I would go. Uh, research the evolution of a favorite musician or an artist. You can look at like a favorite rapper, musician, singer, and look at their career arc. Look at an out, you know, trace their career arc. How have they changed? What have they done? If you like an, a singer and they've gone through different changes, uh, you could look at that in your paper. That's research, right? You're researching the artist development. Research a favorite movie series director. An idea, here's how have Disney princesses portrayal of women changed over time? That's interesting. And this is a good article, right? I had a student in the past, one of the best research papers. She, she looked at how the newer Star Wars, the Revenge of the Sith, and, and you know, the ones with Jar Jar Binks, because those are maligned a little bit. They're not as popular as the old ones, the old ones with Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. Uh, she argued that those newer Star Wars films have, have a good quality, that they are good movies, and she researched and looked up background on Star Wars and all that. Politics and society. Look at something that is in the current news. Uh, I'd be fascinated with, and you know, if I offend anybody, I forgive you, or you can complain to my boss, all those crazy right-wing conspiracy theories. Where the hell is that coming from? I mean, we've always had conspiracy theories, but how people are into that in politics, right? It's, it's mind-blowing. You know, you could look at the egregious laws passed in Georgia to restrict voting. That is, that is sickening. <laughs> yeah, you know, you see where I stand now, all right? Complain if you want. <laughs> uh, but anyway, look at something in the current news. How is that being handled? What's being done? Again, though, you want to think for the scope of this paper, it's three to four pages. You can't tackle the history of racism. You can't tackle something something so big that it's going to require a book, right? Think small. Think something manageable. Uh, look at the economy and work. How has COVID affected the economy? What's the gig economy? The rise of the gig economy. This is Uber drivers, right? Uh, Grubhub drivers, you know, and look at other areas in the economy. You can research your major and its effect in the economy, what you're going to school for, what are the jobs, you know, how's the economy, how's that going? These are just a couple of things I came up with on my own. You are by no means limited to these topics. This is just something to get you thinking, right? Uh, I want you to choose something you're interested in something that that sparks an interest to where you want to do a little bit of research and digging around and i'm going to upload another video where we do some preliminary research so right now i want you to to really start thinking and do what we usually do when we look at these papers brainstorming write down some ideas what do you like uh, what are some areas of interest that you could possibly research that's manageable for a three to four page paper Again, as always, if you're stuck, if you are completely unsure of what you want to look at, email me and we'll come up with something together. So, but I want you to start thinking about this sooner or later. Below are off-limit topics. You know, we're not doing the whole high school paper where you're arguing either or, you know. We're not doing the abortion paper, or yay or nay, or the death penalty, or the drugs, or, and I'm sick of the paying college athletes paper. Not that there's, you know, I just have read so many of them. So these are some no-no topics, completely off limits. Oh, no, forgive me. No. If you want to, that's another, so that's another area. You could look at something in the criminal justice area, you know. I think a good topic could be um, treatment options for drug offenders over incarceration. That would be a really great topic. So, and I might add a couple more, but... You don't want to do any of these either or, so we're not doing that. Anyway, that's a quick overview. I'll be posting some more videos soon where I talk about aspects of the research paper. All right, again, please email me if you have any questions.